Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to start the Brazilian forest today. I don't know if we'll do it all in one shot. We might just do the intro and the forest today and then do the ruins in the next one. Um, I need to buy a bunch of elf fruit from the elves and flasks. So let's go see Bodon first, get some flasks, and then we'll get some elf fruit from them. I seem to use a lot of potions. Especially with not having wind around, you know. So... He has like an unlimited amount too. So I'm just gonna buy like two stacks. Stack stacks. And you can buy unlimited elf fruit from them as well, I believe. At least I think. As you wish. Okay, so typically I'll use Win and not Morgan. Or turn Morgan into a speed leader, but I kinda wanted to try out Shapeshifter this time, you know. Stop right there, outsider. The Dela should camp in this spot. I suggest you go elsewhere, and quickly. I find that hard to believe. What business could we Dalish possibly have with a group like yours? A Grey Warden? How do I know you're telling the truth? No, that's true. Perhaps I shall let the Keeper decide for himself. In the camp, I suggest you keep your hands to yourself, and remember that our arrows are still trained on you. Follow me. Hmm. I see we have guests. Who are these strangers, Mithra? I have precious little patience and less time to spend on outsiders today. This one claims to be a Grey Warden and wishes to speak with the clan. I thought it best to leave the decision to you. That was wise of you. Masirinus, Mithra, you may return to your post. Manuvenen, Keeper. Now, allow me to introduce myself. I am Zathrian. The keeper of this clan, its guide and preserver of our ancient lore. And you are? Manners from a Shenlin. Interesting. What might be your mission here? Have you come to spread news of the Blight? I had already sensed the corruption spreading in the South. The existence of the Blight is not news to me. I would have taken the clan north by now, had we the ability. Looks like Morgan's ready for battle. Sadly, as you can see, we do not. Yes, it seems like you've had your own troubles. What are the odds? I imagine you are here regarding the treaty we signed centuries ago. Unfortunately, we may not be able to live up to the promise we made. This will require some explanation. Please, follow me. Uh-oh, everybody's got their own problems. The clan came to the Brazilian forest one month ago, as is our custom when we enter this part of Ferelden. We are always wary of the dangers in the forest, but we did not expect the werewolves would be lying in wait for us. They ambushed us. And though we drove the beasts back, much damage was done. Many of our warriors lie dying as we speak. Even with all our magic and healing skill, we will eventually be forced to slay our brethren to prevent them from becoming beasts. The Blight's evil must be stopped. But we are in no position to uphold our obligations. I am truly sorry. The affliction is a curse that runs rampant in their blood, bringing great agony and then ultimately either death or a transformation into something monstrous. The only thing that could help them must come from the source of the curse itself. And that... that would be no trivial task to retrieve. Within the Brazilian forest dwells a great wolf. We call him Witherfang. It was within him that the curse originated, and through his blood that it has been spread. If he is killed and his heart brought to me, perhaps I could destroy the curse. But this task has proven too dangerous for us. I sent some hunters into the forest a week ago, but they have not returned. I cannot risk any more of my clan. I must warn you that more than werewolves lurk in the Brazilian forest. It has a history full of carnage and murder, you see. Where there is so much death, the veil separating the spirit realm from our own becomes thin, allowing spirits to possess things, living or dead. But if you can indeed help, 
Then I wish you luck. We'll help him out. Then I suggest you see Master Verathorn. I will instruct him to put aside some supplies for you. The kind that the hunters use. I must return to caring for my people. Creator's speed on your way. Speediest way. Well, that's Athras. I don't want to do his quest, really. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, I do. No, it's Kamen that that's the one I don't want to do. I'm Darren Atishan, stranger. I am Athras. I hope the others have not been too harsh in their treatment of you. That is very generous of you. Most would assume we are unkind as a rule, and that is not the case. Especially not to a Grey Warden. But we have lost much. And it is easy to forget simple niceties at such a time. I understand you will search for the wolves in the Brazilian forest. I would join you, but Zathrian has forbidden me. We are banned from entering the forest now. I have more cause than most, but I will not disobey my keeper. That is a tale I am not sure I should tell an outsider. Surely you have greater concerns than my problems, stranger. I... No. It is too strange to discuss something like that with you. Won't you reconsider? We would truly like to hear what has troubled you, sir. Very well. It's odd to talk so freely with a stranger, but... Perhaps you can help me. Persuasively at Liliana. Nyla and I both fought the werewolves in the ambush. She was injured so gravely, the curse spread rapidly in her. Zathrian fought hard to ease her pain, but there was little he could do. And though he says that Denyla is dead, he will not let me see her. Her body. I am beginning to believe she became a werewolf. And that it is being kept from me so I do not go chasing after her. If I could just know if Denyla is alive or what happened to her, then I could be at peace. I have an amulet made by our craftsmen. It's not much, but I would be happy to give it to you in return for any news. Cool. Another quest. What are you doing? You've warped the wood completely. Did you leave it out in the rain? No, Master Ferrothorn. I, uh, I think I just used too much heat. You're not smelting ore like a Durgenlin. This is living wood. <laughs> His skin's busted. Delicate hands, not more heat. Just some NPCs. Actions bring me sorrow, Master Ferrothorn. And so they should. Truly the art Never works well when you have mods all the time, right? Throw away your dead wood and start anew, and I shall speak to our guest. Now then, please forgive my distraction, stranger. Is there something that you need? I would like to barter with you. I am no merchant, but let us trade. Perhaps there's something here which will be of value to you. What do you got? Elf rope, chastened robes, six defense? Oh, I'll buy them. It's nice to see a lot more loot in this game, like with that mod that I have that increases the, uh, oh, it's like dirt cheap, the uh, drop of stuff. I'm just going to buy a little more because I use so many potions. There, that's good. Acid coating, greater health poultice. I'll be able to use that later, I think. Yeah. Entry kits. I know there's a few um, encounters coming up that are, are a little hard. Not as hard as that stupid Blood Mage uh, place in Denerim, though. Ah, oh, it's brutal. I'm going to sell the bombs. I'm never going to use them. I never remember to use them before or during battle. Nor did I remember to use Liliana's poison. One of these days. Oh, so has a quest. What do you wish? I'm the clan's craftsmaster. It's my responsibility to learn what I can of the ancient elven arts of shaping wood and ore. In truth, we Dalish know little of the art compared to what we once did. And even what we know has taken us many lifetimes to achieve. There is wood that, if treated properly, is as hard as steel, but far lighter. It grows only in this forest. Ironbark. The Keeper has forbidden us from entering the forest to collect the wood. This means I cannot make our finest crafts for years to come. 
I would be hesitant to ask it of you, but if you should come across iron bark, I suppose there would be no harm in gathering some. It is blue and very distinctive. You can only harvest the bark which has fallen off the tree from age. Now, if you find some, bring it to me, and I will craft it for you. That would please me, so long as our hunters come first. Darth Shiro. It's like a um, strength medium armor chest piece that I don't know if it's better than what Liliana has, but. At least they have chosen freedom over subjugation. Better hardship and danger than slavery. Time to make some potions. Probably better how they do it in two and three, where you get like rechargeable potions. Um, but this one, they kind of. It's to be expected that you would um, just spam potions a lot, especially on harder modes. I don't know if that I'm really a big fan of that, but. This is how the game is designed, I guess. Because I would die all the time, and people are like, oh, you're supposed to like spam potions because there's no cooldown. Well, it's like four seconds. Okay, there. Got enough elf fruit for later in the game too. We got 180 potions. I think we're good. Right. Oh, well, you know. Um. <laughs> I love it. To someone over there. The Blight Wolf. Yo. Hey, market's hitting for like 25. That's not bad. Probably not a very optimal uh, class, but what can you do? Spoken truly, my brothers and sisters. The daily send the human of all things to repay us for our attack, to put us in our place. What bitter irony! We are beasts, but we are no longer simple and mindless. Let that thought chill your spine. You speak to Swift Runner. I lead my cursed brothers and sisters. Turn back now. Go back to the Dalish and tell them that you have failed. Tell them we will gladly watch them suffer the same curse we have suffered for too long. We will watch them pay. I need them for the treaties, though. You think we would help you find the Great Wolf? You think we would let you kill him? Then you are a fool. Hey, come brothers and sisters! Swift Runner calls you to battle! Drive this invader from our midst! Forest has eyes of its own, and it shall deal with you. You have been warned. Bye bye. <laughs> Got a few of them.
Oh, somebody leveled up, did they? Very nice. On it. Present creatures. Oh, here's some. Oh my god, there's an ogre. seen one of those in a while after I got spanked in that tower that's such a big deal now You see a tombstone before you, it gives an uneasy feeling. Oh. What did I just do, you guys? Nothing bad happened. Trees. Oh, there's a tree I can talk to down there. And there's the fallen tree. Oh, ironbark. I think you might need... What's this? Oh, better backstabs, yep. Let's get started. Oh no, I'm under attack. Burn. The talking tree. It rhymes. It is a rhyming tree. One can only imagine what manner of spirit is involved here. Wow. And unless thou thinkst it far too soon, might I ask of thee a boon? I have but one desire to solve a matter very dire. As I slept one early morn, a thief did come and steal an acorn. That someone stole his acorn. All I have is my being 
my seed. Without it, I am alone indeed. I cannot go and seek it out. Yet I shall die if left without. My wooden skin has some magic, see, and part of it I can give to thee. The forest would see thee as a tree, and so no harm would come to thee. Oh, so that must be uh, the only way to get through the forest. Wilt thou then perform the task? Wilt thou save me as I ask? Go to the east to find this man. I shall await. Do what thou can. <laughs> Some guy took his acorn. Unlocked. Is this guy? Oh, is that the guy's wife? Athras? Please, help, listen. I am not the mindless beast I appear to be. Obey. I am cursed, turned into this creature. A curse, it... It burns in me. I fled into the forest. The werewolves, they took me in. But I had to return. I had to. Careful. These werewolves might have laid a trap for us or something. You never know. You are human. I am. I was once an elf, one of the Dalish folk. You crashed in all of my clan. The Keeper sent you, then you seek with a fang. 
Denyla. <laughs> it stripped her belt. Get them all. already. Ask a question and you'll get a question, but give an answer and you'll receive the same. Oh, I do so love to trade. No, that is not a question. And if it be an answer, it be an answer to a question I've not asked. Have you no sense for the rules? Be cautious. This is no ordinary madman. He has magic. I can sense it. Powerful magic. No fair bringing mages to a guessing game. Will you play by the rules or not? I think it is your turn to ask, is it not? Let's see. I'll trade you an acorn, a helmet I found, or a book I finished reading years ago, provided you have something interesting in return. Acorn. Oh, and what do you have to trade for the acorn? Oh, yes. Many things are buried deep here. Treasures. <laughs> Ooh, warm. Warm enough to keep my neck from freezing on a cold night when the mice are biting at the toes. Give me that! There. Now that's done. What else have you got on your agenda, hmm? May I? Oh yes, I think I might. Now, what shall be the first? Oh yes, what is your name? Aha, so you claim they sent you, didn't they? 
but you're too tricky, and you're trying to fool me. Well, I'm on to you, just so you know. <laughs> but it is your turn to ask now. Ask. Ask away, I dare you. Yes, I live here, and it's not as bad as you think. Where else to go, eh? I must stay away from them. They're out there and looking. They will take your secrets, oh yes, all of them, and leave you empty. But that's all I have to say about that. An answer for an answer. There you go. May I? Oh yes, I think I might. Hmm. Where were you born? Hmm. So you say, fiendishly clever of you to maintain this facade for so long, but I will see through it yet. Mark my words. But it is your turn to ask now. Ask. Ask away, I dare you. How many more questions do we have left? One more. Oh no, who are you? Who am I? Why do you want to know? Did they send you? Did they tell you to ask? Ah! Damnation! Caught by my own rules. <laughs> Did they tell you to pretend to be an innocent stranger with a head full of fluff and nothing? I'm trickier than I look. <laughs> I survive still, and the trees, they leave me be. <laughs> I've won. They will never find me. Never. So you did. But I'm watching you. If they sense you, I'll know. But that's all I have to say about that. An answer for an answer. There you go. May I? Oh, yes, I think I might. Let's see. Do you have a knowledge of the arcane arts? Uh -huh. I knew that. Or did I? I forget now. But if you are a mage, that means... That means that they sent you. Huh. Or does it? Drat. But it is your turn to ask now. Ask. Ask away, I dare you. Too many spirits, that's the problem of this forest. And all the curses and the angry wolfmen who howl enough to drive you to madness. And you yell at them, but they run and hide deep within the center of the forest, and the trees protect them. There's a way to fool the trees, of course. Trees are thick, wooden things, after all. Easily fooled, if you know how. Oh my, no, that's quite a question. I think that answer deserves something a little extra first, don't you? I stole something from an oak tree some time ago, and it won't stop pestering me for it back. Would you be so good as to turn it into firewood or something equally dead? You know of it? Good, that makes this much easier. Yes, that's the one. It's up to you. Yes, indeedy. Your choice. Time to move on now. Oh, I see. You're going to report to them now, are you? Fine. Goodbye. <laughs> what a weirdo. All right, let's go talk to the tree. Give him the acorn box. So give me his blessing, and then we can move on. Wait, was it this way? Oh, so lost. Get trapped. Must have resisted. Oh, I missed a few of you, did we? Light Wolf. I think it's down here. Yeah, here we go. My acorn is still gone. 
So I pray to thee, hast thou any news for me? My joy soars to new heights indeed. I am reunited with my seed. As I promised, hear it be. I hope its magic pleases thee. Keep this branch of mine with thee, and pass throughout the forest free. I wish thee well, my mortal friend. Thou brought my sadness to an end. May the sunlight find you, thy days be long, thy winters kind, and thy roots be strong. Cool, now we can pass through. So instead of going that way, let's go over here. The forest has not been vigilant enough. Still you come. You are stronger than we could have anticipated. The Dalish chose well, but you do not belong here, outsider. Leave this place! <sighs> you are sent by the treacherous Dalish to kill with a fang. I will not stand by and allow that to happen! <laughs> then we fight! With our blood and our very lives, we will defend our home! Bring it on, Wolfie. Hey, she hasn't sung in a while. I wonder if I um, mess with her tactics or something. Let's grab her. Dual weapon sweep. Self. Activate mode. Any. Uh, Song of Valor. And self health 50%. He's powerful. There we go. Hey. Alright, Morgan. I don't care what he does. He can do his thing. The air seems unnaturally cold. Leave it alone, I guess. We'll just leave her be. We are invaded. Intruders have deceived their way into the forest heart. Fall back to the ruins. Protect the lady. I love this music. Well, guys, I think I'm going to separate the sections so that you guys, uh, if you're looking for the ruins, it'll just be the ruins. 
So that's it for the forest. Uh, we will do the ruins and then finish up with Zathrian after that. So hope to see you then. Take care. Have a great one.